You think this cowboy gives a damn about an alien? We got bigger fish to fry. Like the border. Who's gonna protect the border from the real alien threat? Y'all talking about aliens in the sky. And I'm talking about aliens at the border. You think this cowboy cares about disclosure? How about you disclose where the low price men's underwear is at? Or the low price men's socks? How about you disclose? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Drewcast, episode 133. I'm your host, Mellow15. This week, guys, there's a lot to unpack. I feel like I'm going to try to condense this week's topics to not sound like I'm like, you know, rambling. But, you know, in the last couple of weeks, I've been covering. I covered the David Grush interview on Joe Rogan. I covered basically a lot of stuff that is surrounding disclosure. You guys know it's my favorite. It's my favorite thing to talk about only because it is the biggest story in human history. And it's largely being overlooked. Right. A lot of legacy media isn't touching it. If you talk to your coworkers or family or friends, a lot of people aren't really talking about it. I think it's because a lot of people just don't really know what's happening. Unless you're somebody who's keeping up on the topic. Right. So we're going to talk about a few things tonight that I feel like the public should know. More importantly, I feel like my viewers should know. You guys do your own research, too. Uh, just don't take my word for it. Don't take the word of people on, you know, Twitter. Don't take the word of people on Instagram, YouTube. Like, you know, look into it yourself because things are starting to happen. And that 2027 date. Hey, I see you, 2027. I see you. But tonight we're going to start off with the Schumer Amendment. I got I'm going to pull it up right here because this is really important and it's happening right now. Okay, and there's people trying to block it and I'll say their names because these people are enemies of disclosure right now. Now that you know some names, this has probably been happening for the past like 80 to 100 years. There's probably a lot of people who have been involved secretly in stopping this stuff. But now that we're in like the technology age and social media age, it's harder to block this. It's harder to stop this from getting out because what's happening right now is if this amendment doesn't go through, if it doesn't get passed, you're literally talking about what they say is catastrophic disclosure. You won't be able to control it anymore. Do they want catastrophic disclosure? Because I talked about that last week, right? If you get it at the slow drip or you control it, you can kind of... You can't control the whole narrative, but you could kind of control the the shock that's going to happen, right? If you if you don't allow stuff like this to pass, like the Schumer Amendment, you're going to get catastrophic disclosure. And don't be mad when it happens because you're asking for it, okay? I have it pulled up right here, and I'm going to read it to you guys because I really feel like this is interesting. So in Washington, D.C., Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and Senator Mike Rounds are leading an amendment to the National Defense Authorization Act which would mandate government records related to unidentified anomalous phenomena carry the presumption of disclosure. I'm going to read that one more time, right? So the majority leader Chuck Schumer and Senator Mike Rounds are leading an amendment to the National Defense Authorization Act, which would mandate government records related to the unidentified anomalous phenomena known as UAP carry the presumption of disclosure. It's important, guys, because... There was when David Grush, Ryan Graves and David Fravor went to Congress and they had that hearing earlier this summer. Right. There's they're straight up telling you. And the people and like, you know, Senator Luna and like and Tim Burchett, they're they're telling people straight up like, hey, billions of dollars when we audit them. Billions of dollars are going unaccounted for. Like, we don't know where these this money is going to. Right. And if it's going to these secret covert black projects, you know, that work on this stuff, we need to know. Right. The American people need to know, because if our tax money is being used for that and they're not telling us and that technology could potentially do good for this planet or save our planet or, you know, free us from fossil fuels, free us from like. 
I guess, basically things that have been like kind of tying us down. And they're taking our tax money to reverse that technology. We we deserve to know, bro, right? So the four people, so these are four politicians that are trying to kill this amendment, right? And obviously, like, they're probably being paid off by the military industrial complex, you know, against our interests and against basically world citizens, guys. These four people right here, we got Mike Turner, Mike Rogers, Mike Johnson, and Mitch McConnell, which is kind of funny because, like, literally almost all of them are named Mike. So basically, Mike... Anybody named Mike, right? Anybody named Mike. The problem with this, right, is there is there is a national security issue, okay? The national security issue being if the technology that they supposedly have is in the wrong hands, those people could do pretty much anything, right? Like imagine if like a terrorist organization or somebody who really has bad intentions gets a hold of this technology it could lead to like, you mean, obviously, like I've heard about this being talked about on YouTube, but like you really don't want like a terrorist organization having like the power of a UAP, right? Within a second, they can go 60 miles. Like you, you don't want that because then we're talking about the power to basically destroy the planet. I mean, like, I mean, literally, like it literally feels like this technology should not be in our possession, right? So the fact that we have this technology in our, in our possession, I agree, there should be some what's the word yeah there should be some classified aspects to this okay the parts that they should declassify just tell us guys we're not alone yep we have recovered craft and just talk about because david grushin mentioned that there's different kinds of non-human intelligence here maybe tell us about some of them right if they're harmful to us tell us Right. Why the hell would you not tell us like, OK, you know, that viral video that went around about, you know, the the plane from Malaysia, right? That plane, that the video of like the plane being abducted by orbs. The reason and I don't know if it's real or fake. I'm not educated enough to make a bold statement on that. I watched the video. It was interesting. I mean, I always said if that video was real and those orbs really did abduct that plane, that is a huge problem. Not only because, like, what the hell was that? But then the airline industry would basically collapse because anybody going on a plane now, how do I know that when I get on this plane, my plane's not going to be abducted by orbs, right? I said that during that, when that video went viral, I was like, hey, bro, like, that's scary to think about because, like, if, if you can't even feel safe going on a plane, how are they supposed to market that industry to you, right? So, again, there is things that I feel should be classified, they, but our government should do right by our people, right? Especially if you guys, you know, you keep using that word national, you know, that term national security, I get it. Be honest with the American people, bro. If you're taking our tax money and they're already saying that in Congress, they're already saying that billions are going unaccounted for, right? They, there's no oversight on that. They're using billions and trillions of our tax money and it could potentially be going to these black covert projects. Just tell us the truth, bro. Just give us something, right? The more you lie, the more it's going to look really bad on your part in the future when this comes out, because it's going to come out eventually, right? The more you lie, the worse this gets. And disclosure isn't for everybody. And this, this, this conversation makes so many people uncomfortable, right? You should see like in my day to day life, I'll send friends of mine or coworkers of mine like these these articles or, you know, videos of like people in Congress and senators and whistleblowers like actually going to Congress and like under oath. I'll send them those videos. They're just not interested in it. For some reason, this topic, I don't know if it scares them. I don't know if they're they don't take it seriously or maybe they think this is just one big sigh up. But this topic isn't getting the traction that probably a lot of people thought it would. I personally feel like a lot of people are just scared. Like, how do you even handle a situation like this, right? How do you, how do you tell the whole entire world that everything they've ever learned, everything they've ever been taught is a lie? How do you tell them like, hey, for the past 80 years, we've been working on reversing this technology. And so a lot of this technology could save this planet from, you know, fossil fuels and, you know, destroying our planet. This technology can do a lot, but we just didn't we just didn't share it with you guys. We didn't think you deserved any of that. 
We're going to work you to death, steal your tax money, lie to you, and basically use whatever we can reverse against other countries. Now, don't get me wrong. Other countries are definitely using this stuff against us if they could. And other countries are probably definitely trying to reverse their own technology or reverse whatever craft they have. So that that part I understand. But disclosure, it just, it, bro, like it's one of those things where like the online discourse and versus the real life discourse is kind of similar, right? You have like a, a large group of people who are really interested in this and trying to get the truth out to people. But there's just so many people who don't care, right? The only time these people will, will care is when the whatever this is comes knocking on our door. That's it. That you no whistleblower, no Twitter account, no Reddit post, no four chan post will get these people to care. I don't think a picture will get people to care because AI is so good now. I don't think a video will get people to care because you, things can get faked. These things will have to land here. They will have to make a big show, like almost like Independence Day, and then people will start caring. That's just my opinion. I don't think people, I don't think people care anymore. I, I, what does that do? Right? A lot of people in the comment section will say, well, I still have to pay bills. I still have to go to work. I still have to do my day to day. Like nothing changes for me. Okay. Aliens are real. I already know there's other life out in the universe. Okay. This is happening. I don't care. Oh, that plane, that plane got abducted. I don't care because I don't fly planes. Right? So unless it affects them personally, a lot of people will not care. So those things are going to have to land before anybody starts to really pay attention to what's happening. That's the sad part. That's just my opinion. And I have more hope for people. But at the end of the day, bro, like the reason I'm so passionate about this topic, when I first started podcasting, right, I didn't really feel I was like, OK, what do I want to talk about? Right? Like, do I want to make this a sports channel? Do I want to make this a gossip channel? When I interview people, what are we going to talk about? And I started to gravitate towards this subject a lot because something inside me and maybe it's the holy spirit right i know a lot of you who are watching me might be religious or if you're not it's whatever but something inside of me was telling me this is the topic this is what you're going to talk about not every episode but this is what this is your path and it felt good it, I, there was a feeling inside me that i was like this is it bro this is what i was put here to do whether the video gets 60 views whether the video gets 20 views, 35 views, 100 views, 300 views, doesn't matter to me because what I'm doing, I'm passionate about. I love doing this. Right now, I'm doing it by myself, but I don't care, bro. I love doing it. And I'm over the fact, and I don't even care if people tease me anymore. I said this on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me there and you're interested, I can leave a link below. But I said on Instagram, I said, bro, I'm, I don't really care if people tease me anymore about this topic or the stuff I talk about. Oh, cool. You think mentioning the the cabal is crazy? Don't care. Oh, you think it's cringy that I make UFO videos and alien videos all the time? Don't care. Bye. Don't care. I used to. I used to be very like, what's the word? I used to be very mindful of that because I'm like, damn, bro, I don't want people making fun of me. And I used to be very like, I didn't like being teased, but I don't care anymore, bro. Make fun of me. Do what you got to do. Don't care. I love this topic. It's important, and I th and I feel like it's important for you guys to understand what's happening, right? So hopefully the Schumer Amendment gets passed. If they make changes to it, I already know they're probably going to try to do that, but the Schumer Amendment needs to be passed because it's important, right? This straight up. But the last topic, though, tonight, last week on when I was mentioning the David Grush interview, he had mentioned the CIA, right? How the CIA blocked Lockheed Martin from divesting whatever material and craft they had. And this article came out on the Daily Mail, and it, it kind of has to do with that in a way, right? So I'm going to break it down and give you guys my thoughts. So CIA's secret office has conducted UFO retrieval missions on at least nine crash sites around the world, whistleblower reveals. Now, a lot of this stuff is going to have to be whistleblowers because clearly these guys want to lie to you more. Clearly, they're not trying to let these amendments pass. Clearly, they're like trying to like discredit everybody who's trying to be real with you guys. So it's going to have to be whistleblowers. Whether or not you believe them or not, that's up to you. But when a lot of these stories start collaborating, when a lot of these stories start to link, they start to make a lot of sense. It's not a lie anymore, in my opinion. But And like I said, take this with a grain of salt because this whistleblower could be completely false. But it kind of lines up with what, you know, with, with what David Grush said. Because if the CIA is involved, 
they of course they're not going to let Lockheed Martin divest their material. Like we're the ones involved. We're the ones that gave it to you because you're a private company. Why would we then allow you to make this public? Of course, bro. So I, I, and this part's interesting, and I'll read this part. There's at least nine vehicles. There were different circumstances for different ones. One source briefed by the UFO program insiders told DailyMail.com. It has to do with the physical condition they're in. If it crashes, there's a lot of damage done. Others, two of them, are completely intact. The source said the CA has a system in place that can discern UFOs while they're still cloaked, and that if the non-human craft lands, crashed, or brought down to Earth, special military units are sent to try to salvage the wreckage. Another source with knowledge of the OGA's role said that they specialize in allowing the U.S. military to secretly access areas around the world where they usually would be denied. For example, behind enemy lines. So we're like going behind enemy. <laughs> so we're like going behind enemy lines to get crash UFOs that are cloaked. So we can tell that they're cloaked, and we can. That's crazy, bro. So no wonder everybody hates America, dude. But so they are basically a facilitator for people to get in and out of countries. The source said. They are very clever at being able to get anywhere in the world that they want to. Well, of course, bro. The the CIA in this country is so powerful. I wouldn't be surprised if they're actually like probably the main group of people who control everything. But the task at hand is simply to get it into custody and protect the secrecy of it, one source said. The actual physical retrieval is by the military, but it's not kept under military control because they have to keep too many records. So they start moving it out fairly quickly into private hands, which would be Lockheed Martin and other aerospace companies that, you know, work on similar things, which, you know, that's just fundamentally, I think a lot of people have kind of guessed that this is what's happening. And I would suggest that to the people who may be watching any of the uh, any of these type of podcasts whether it's mine or you know a lot of the bigger platforms catastrophic disclosure is probably what's going to happen um you guys had a chance to be honest with the american people you had a chance to be honest with the citizens of this planet you weren't so you're going to get leaks like this right you're going to get whistleblowers who are going to come out and they're just going to start saying what it is right someone has to take one for the team if i knew i would take one for the team right Edward Snowden was one of them. Julian Assange, those type of people, they took one for the team because your country was lying to you. Your country was stealing from you and spying on you, right? I don't consider those people bad people. Like Edward Snowden, I don't consider him a bad person. He's someone who did right by his country. And like David Grush, like all these other whistleblowers, whether or not they name names or they, you know, they reveal their name. These people are trying to do the right thing and it's being blocked at all levels and it can only be blocked for so much longer. And the more you try to block it, the more this stuff will come out. Am I surprised that the CIA supposedly has like a crash retrieval team and they can see UFOs that are cloaked? Not surprised at all. Just tell us like, hey, these things are in our skies. We don't know where they come from. We don't know how they're getting here. They can cloak themselves. There's the yes, there is non-human intelligence here. David Grush is right. There's like multiple of them here, right? Like we just don't know all the details yet, right? I think that kind of stuff you can slowly start telling us. You don't have to tell us the actual workings of these craft because yes, there is still a responsibility for our security, right? There is still like we have to be accountable for that, right? Like you have to protect the people. Some of the stuff has to be classified. So but that is episode 133, guys. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. It, uh, when the Schumer Amendment gets passed or if it gets denied, I will talk about it. You know, hopefully in the next coming weeks, this topic becomes less overwhelming. Like I mentioned this last week, but this topic it can kind of tear at your soul. It can kind of like, you know, drain you. And I don't want it to feel that way. I don't want it to feel that way for me. I don't want that. To, I don't want it to feel that way for you guys viewing this, because why would I want to make content that's draining you too, right? You just got to, it's kind of like one of those things where you know that there's a fight coming and you just got to be prepared because the fight is inevitable. Like you can't dodge this anymore. Like the viewer, me, like the country, like this is becoming something that we can't just put off anymore. Right. And so I feel like the more we become educated together, the more we talk about it, the better this will, the situation will become. I don't want to end up like previous civilizations that have literally 
probably been through the same thing. I mean, if you think about previous civilizations, their rise and fall kind of seemed to coincide with us. Maybe past civilizations, when they found out about disclosure, or they found out the truth about what's happening, their people just went crazy. And they kind of just destroyed themselves, right? And the new, the, the survivors, so the breakaway civilizations, like, you know, dipped off, came back and kind of try to redo things. And I don't want that to happen for us. I feel like now we're at a stage where we can handle the truth. Just give us some of it. Just give us whatever you think doesn't affect national security and we can go from there. So, but yeah, follow me guys on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube shorts, Facebook. I'm, I'm always on there four or five times, a, four or five times a week. I'm usually posting clips and yeah, until next time guys, peace.